I'm Matt, and this is Not Enough Tech. Previously, we... Sorry. It appears that someone is stealing my food from the fridge. Obviously, there's another use of uh, the sensor if you want to use it. We're talking about Amazon Dash. These babies, as you can see, this one is brand new and not touched, and this one has been modified for the purpose of this tutorial. So what we've got in here, we've got in here a missing button, the button still works, uh, the cover is missing, and we have uh, here a magic read switch. If you don't know what a read switch is, it's the magnetic uh, switch that responds to magnets or electrofield, um, and basically it performs as a button, so we no longer have to press it, we just uh, get this in as close as to the magnet as possible, and it will activate. So that's essentially it. And I'll quickly show you how um, it has been built and I'll go over the software as well. All right, so let's get started. All right, switches come in two flavors, normally closed and normally open. And for this purpose, uh, for this build, we're going to use normally open because uh, buttons otherwise go into a pairing mode. And this is quite important. And the orientation of these babies matters, so do check it before you start working on it. You're gonna see what I've done. I've used a hot needle to uh, go through the plastic cover and put the release, uh, the read switch uh, pins. And then inside, I just lead the cable around the battery like this, use a bit of solder, and then solder it directly to the button buds. The read switch is connected to both pads of the bottom and when the read switch uh, is next to the magnet it closes the circuit and initiates the connection. The thinner the cable you use, the easier time you're gonna uh, have putting this back together. I had to make some uh, extra space for the cable so it would fit in. And obviously if you're really gonna run th thin cables, which I didn't have at that time, uh, you'll be able to put the button back uh, as well. The button works. Uh, so uh, the read switch is just another way of activating the switch. So uh, that's how the hardware uh, really is modified and let's take a look at the software side of it. This is a Python 3 script, so download Scappy for Python 3 using pip3 command. We're going to import some uh, libraries, so let's take a look at that and then we're going to use auto remote uh, for connectivity. We need an API key for auto remote, just enter it there. And if you're using more than one button, just use the names for the button uh, where is the capital uppercase uh, lettering. So we, first we're gonna use uh, first our script to send a message to our mobile saying that we've armed it. So we're using the mobile uh, variable uh, with the mobile message is being set. And then we're using the ARP scan to discover our uh, Mac from the dash and then send the second message saying um, that it's a warning. And once it's a message sent, then obviously we're gonna terminate the script so you wouldn't run constantly. That's it. Our profile to intercept auto remote alarm contains two parts. First, we're gonna flash the confirmation that our alarm has been um, set. So we know that AR command two from the array is gonna be uh, set. So we're gonna just use if condition to set that to set. And then just a quick flash is going to display a confirmation that everything is um, ready for us. Then we're going to issue a vibration and notification for when the alarm actually activates. So if it activates, our ARCOM2 equals warning. And then we have option to reset it if you want to. By that time, script is terminated. And if you want to uh, have more than one sensor, then obviously just uh, add AR command one where the button name is stored and uh, just enter the name of your button so for example like button one or something right if you only have one that the second isn't needed so that's pretty much it in terms of a setting and receiving alarm and to reset it we're gonna use another auto apps command so it will intercept uh, the command uh, reset and what it's gonna do it's gonna use auto tools um, SSH connection to basically run the script, start the script again, because the script is gonna terminate uh, when the alarm uh, notification is set. That's pretty much it. 
If you need more information about hacking of Amazon Dash and how I did it, uh, you can also look my wireless doorbell tutorial, which involves setting uh, the buttons uh, and writing the script from scratch. So uh, I'll link it somewhere here on the screen. Now on uh, additional note, just bear in mind, this is not a professional alarm by any means. There is no battery indicators, etc., etc., uh, And it can be easily rendered useless by disconnecting your Wi-Fi. So yeah, bear that in mind. I've got a um, written up article about the pitfalls of DIY security systems. So do have a look, I'll link it for you as well. So uh, again, thanks for watching guys and uh, the in-depth tutorial about the Amazon Dash. If you prefer the written set, um, version of it, you can find it on the screen as well. And as usual, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.